You have got to be kidding me. There's a cat lounge in Springfield. Oh man, we, we have been racking our brains for cat puns all day, <laughs> and the best we could do was a perfect story, and you've got to be kidding me. Anyways, this cat lounge off Centennial Boulevard. It's the first one in our area, and it comes with more than a cup of coffee. Billy Spots, who is our resident cat dad, was there today for opening day. There's several cat cafes in San Diego, San Francisco, Seattle. The only other cat cafe or cat lounge in Oregon is in Bend. I've adopted cats um, from various rescues, and so I'm passionate about providing homes for cats that need them. <laughs> and all the cats are available for adoption so they can find forever homes. Crayon has been great in picking out good cats for us. This is just set up like a home and a living room where um, cats can be comfortable. The point of the cat lounge is for people to have a place to come to hang out with cats. Some people love cats but can't have them at home. The cat lounge is as much for people as it is for cats. <laughs> There was the purr. So there were a lot of questions when we heard about this cat lounge. Like, how many cat puns can you come up with? Maybe not that one, but okay. our resident cat dad, Billy Spots, <laughs> joining us to answer all of them. So, Billy, what is available at the cat lounge? We know there's coffee. Is there yeah. food? If so, how does that work with cats running around? Yeah, so uh, when I met with the owner, Michelle Wyatt, she was telling me that everything there is prepackaged when it comes to food. They don't even have a kitchen. You know, I think they have a coffee maker. I mean, that would make sense with, uh, they have a menu of tea and coffee that you can have. But everything is separated from the cats. The cats aren't able to get into their food area where things are being prepared. But uh, on top of that, you know, it's about $12 a person uh, for 50 minutes. So, you know, it's a good spot to kind of just hang out for an hour. I had a lot of fun when I was there, so yeah. There's a cost to get in, right? Yeah, no, it was that $12. $12 to get in, but there's also uh, money that goes towards adoption as mm -hmm. uh, ultimately these cats are adoptable. Yeah. Um, all of these cats are sourced through the Cat Rescue Adoption Network, uh, as we mentioned in the video. Uh, Cran has been working with her for a while, and specifically they're looking to, th what she told me is that they got some of their best behaved cats, right? Some of the ones that are incredibly friendly, and all the ones that were incredibly friendly. I had like one instance where one of the cats was like getting a little ticked off at me and was like about to start kind of biting and scratching, and then he was like, ah, I'm good, I'm bored, I'm gonna Isn't go Isn't that leave. cats? It's just like it's in the newsroom. <laughs> we're just living in it. Uh, but uh, cats poop. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that, they poop in litter. <laughs> yes. Uh, all of that is kind of separated away from <laughs> the, the, the lounge itself. Uh, they go through pet doors that are right uh, next to the edge of the kind of lounge area. So it's all separated. You're not going to have to deal with the smell and everything. I think their food was back there as well. I didn't actually see the food while I was there. But, like, I know cats, when cats are hungry, they get mad. So it has to be, like, easily available and readily accessible for see, them. He's our resident cat dad. He knows everything cats. He knows everything about cats. On the cat beat. Yeah. spots. Oh, one last thing. If you do plan on going, please pre-register at their website. I think it's eugenespringfieldcatlounge.com. Interesting. Doesn't know everything just about cats, but even about the cat lounge. Cat lounge. <laughs> I guess so. It's where he's going to spend his weekends.